Okay guys, what's up? What I'm doing today, me and my buddy, I just left AutoZone a while ago and I got these Boss Audio Systems. You can get them, they're Bluetooth speakers. I had them on my other bike. Um, these are actually really, really loud. If this is what you prefer on your bike, if, that, if that's your style, I prefer these. They work really, really well. So let's get these on there. Instruction manual. Let's see here. And they also do make, um, you can get the black ones or the chrome ones, which I like the black ones, but the chrome ones look good too. All right, guys, so basically after we got it out of the box and everything, um, next you want to figure out where you want to place it on the bike. A lot of times they're pretty popular putting them right here in front of your handlebars. They're, I mean, extremely loud. But you got to loosen these nuts and open up this little clamp, and then you just clamp it right on the front of your bars. Some people will even put them on the sides. If you want them on the sides, it's wherever you want to put them. But I just like them on the front, so. Now we're just going to have to get a tool to loosen this up. All right, guys, so basically we just open this up out of the box. It does come with everything that you need. Um, it's like these little pieces of rubber, thin rubber, that you lay across the clamp like that. And then you just want to place it on your handlebars. That way it don't scratch your handlebars. That's basically what that's made for. So basically what we've done now is finally got them clamped shut. Got the nut right on there. Screwed it really, really tight. If you need to use anything, these right here come in handy to get down there and squeeze them. That way if you ain't got nobody to help you, it really, really works. But like you can see, they're on there. They're a little loose, but we still ain't got to, we got to tighten them down. All right, any real redneck or country guy, always going to have some of these attached in the truck. Zip ties are used for anything, pretty much, especially wiring, speakers, anything like that. So what we're going to do is next we're going to go in and try to hide all these wires that's unnecessarily to be showing. We don't need them to be showing. Try to make them look as good as possible. Um, and that's going to be the next thing. And then we just hook them through the ground to the battery and then fire it up and see if it works good. Basically what this guy's is, this little box with this little knob on it, that's your volume button, or your vo button then at a volume. Let's redo that. Let's redo that one. Fuck. All right guys, so basically what this is, is just a little box. It's got the volume knob on it. You can just turn it down or turn it up. This is very, very convenient if you have it towards the front. That way you don't have to look for it while you're riding. Just turn it up and turn it down. All right guys, so basically after you get them down on your terminals, make sure they got connection. Just put your battery in there. You don't have to start it. Just turn the key. And the little on button, oh, I just heard it, I believe. One second. Uh, what did I do with that? And go up here to where you located your um, volume switch. This way. One second. Let's see here. Pretty sure this is on. Cause I thought I heard it. All right, so basically what I'm holding my hands is the toggle switch that it comes already assembled to the wires. Well, as you can see, is we had to cut it because there was no power. It went ahead and got his little um, power checker, and it didn't have any kind of juice to it at all. Should have at least 12 volts. Didn't have none. So basically, what we had to do is splice it and run it right straight to the battery. Now, what I'm going to have to do for long term, if I don't want to, you know, kill my battery all the time, is take this fuse and unplug it from the fuse box here but all you got to do from here is plug it in wait a second and there you go it's actually you can hear the little beep noise that means it's working now from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my phone so if you see this come up on your device you click that you hit pair Okay, guys, so basically what we had to do, um, we had to troubleshoot a little bit on a new product, of course. It sucks. But the toggle switch on these Boss Audio Bluetooth speakers that you get at AutoZone or any parts stores at Walmart, it was it was dead. It didn't work. It didn't have no juice to it. So me and my buddy James, we went ahead and did all that. Um, we ran the wire straight to my battery. Now, here's the problem. The fuse is probably pulled every other night. That way, it don't really kind of kill my battery. But I don't think I'm worried about it right now. But it's going to stay on all times. There is no switch to turn it on and off. Well, they work really good. They're actually very loud. Um, but I'm very, very happy with it. Um, you can see they're still there, and I'm happy with it. So that's the way it's going to be. I'll let you listen to them, but we can't play no music. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Leave a comment. Don't forget, if you're new, smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching another video. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.